Okay, so I forgot to share a few things about um, what I learned during this program and my practicum as well. So I wanted to share my concept map with you and just kind of go over the whole last two years. And it's kind of surreal that it's, it's coming to an end here. Um, but this is my concept map that I made. I'm gonna zoom in and just kind of go one by one. Um, each one of these classes was um, something that was amazing for me, just a, a wonderful experience. And I'll, I'll start it off with, um, in the center here, the things that I've connected, and I didn't draw lines here, but because I think they all encompass this in one way, shape, or form. Self care was huge in terms of um, learning a little bit more about what that means. Um, Christianity, uh, as well, a huge overarching uh, theme in each and every one of these classes. Psychology, of course, mindfulness, service, love, teaching, and praxis, um, which I, we talked about is um, learning, doing, and reflection. Um, I think these are all key points that um, things that I really learned throughout this program and, and throughout each and every one of my classes. Um, so, you, you know, I'll start out with here, um, uh, Psych 408, um, which was History and Systems of Psychology. Um, that was a really good class for me because I got a little bit more of an in-depth look to a modality that I really like, which is CBT. Um, and so I also learned about how, um, you know, just I'm a Christian and um, to be able to talk about um, spiritual things or sacred things with a non-believers. Um, it's just a way to, to, um, for me as a minister to make a touch point with them is they might not understand my Christianese or, or, um, the jargon that I use when talking about God and, and, um, and the spiritual things, but they might understand sacred. So that was a neat, uh, take into that. I'd not thought about that. Um, it's like 490, um, looked at personhood. Um, we looked at different topics of like meaning and morality, um, and um, I did a project on existentialism, which was good. Um, it's on my YouTube channel, actually. Um, in Psych 330, um, leadership, that was a really good class. Um, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, we worked on uh, personal conflict and um, just how to resolve it uh, within the workplace or in general. And also looked at um, something that I really struggle with, which is making an action plan. Um, and so that class really was an uh, um, eye, eye opener for me to organize and uh, get things done that way. Um, we read Getting Things Done, no pun intended. Uh, Psych 326, uh, cognitive processes, um, learned about how the mind works um, and memory and uh, just a lot of um, just brain study. And um, I, I did a uh, study on ADHD and um, OCD actually, looking at how Mandela, just how he deals with that. Um, Psych 301, really good. Theories and personality, uh, study different approaches to personality and, and what makes this up. I learned that I'm um, INFP and my wife is an ESTJ and we make it work and it's awesome. But it's really cool just to know yourself a little more and, and get to know others as well. But I need a presentation on Lewis and uh, his personality there. Uh, this was my first class, uh, Psych 331, Theories and Counseling, really just dove right into it. I love that class, um, just the different approaches to counseling and um, how as uh, a pastor, as a minister, how do I, um, how do I uh, counsel people more, more effectively? I really, like I said, I really like cognitive behavioral therapy. It's something that really um, appeals to me. Um, Psych 411, um, psychology and spirituality. We did our 40, 40 day devotions um, and uh, with, um, what's his name? Scazzaro, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but we looked at emotionally healthy spirituality what that looks like, what that doesn't look like. Um, we looked at the different stages of faith as well. Just a really, really good class. Um, abnormal psychology, um, something I wish I would have spent more time on. This fascinates me, but we looked at the abnormal side of the mind and the psyche. Um, I studied neural uh, cognitive disorders, OCD, um, and how to integrate CBT into uh, some situations. CBT is not an all end all be all modality, but it's something that um, I really, really like. Um, but then um, Psych 322, Research Methods. This one was tough. Uh, it's psych, like, um, psychology and, and writing in APA format, um, doing a presentation, uh, my paper, and, and making sure how to do a research paper and, and a proposal and, and to do all that. So it was really good, um, a learning experience. It's like 340, interpersonal, human, and helping skills. Um, we took a more practical approach at how to counsel people and just different strategies and how to do that. Um, I went through a few mock sessions with people um, and had a, good, a few good laughs and uh, just really enjoy that. 
adolescent psychology right up my alley. Really enjoy this class, um, just looking at the development of adolescence and um, just studying the effects of uh, different things like social media and uh, how mental health affects them and their developing brains. And um, and just uh, it was really relevant for 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 me. Um, uh, what was <coughs> I can't remember what the R stands for, um, uh, but it was. Um, issues in contemporary culture. Um, it was my religion class, and uh, we looked at uh, just different uh, issues going on at the time. I think this was taken in 2019, uh, pre-COVID, um, and so just learned looked at different approaches um, on how to solve problems and different worldviews. Um, and yeah, it was good. Uh, Sociology 201, Intro to Human Services. Uh, got a chance to talk about who I am. Um, interviewed some different uh, people and agencies. And that was kind of preparation for my practical project, which was a uh, field placement of what I'm currently doing right now. Um, University 301, great class, really enjoyed that one. It was uh, to, uh, it was one of the first books I think I read here it was uh, To Be Told by Dan Allender. It's, um, just a really good book, it's on my shelf here still. Um, but I think one of my big, I learned about aha moments, um, core and chore. Um, uh, sociology 400, um, critical issues in human service. Um, I took a um, a big uh, a, a big portion of that class to study burnout and how that affects um, how that affects people in helping services and how we need to care for ourselves. And I, I remember during my presentation, I talked about how we do a disservice and how I think it personally, I think it's unethical for us as um, helping people to not take care of ourselves because. Um, when we don't take care of ourselves, um, we can't effectively take care of other people. Um, so, and then all culminated to uh, my, I don't know if I went through these. No, I did. Um, practicum and project. And so I created YouTube shorts uh, for pastors and leaders to help with training um, in order to be more effective in youth ministry. So I think all those, um, all those encompass uh, self-care, really the, um, the how, how can we give what we don't have? Um, yeah, I love in, in Psalm 23, where um, David talks about my cup overflows and just this idea of from the outpour of, of, of what we have, we give to others. Um, and that goes, I think that applies to many different aspects in our lives. But how can we minister to others? How can we care for others? How can we help others? And we ourselves are, are drowning. Um, Christianity, um, this worldview, this is uh, the only way, the truth in life. And this is all, all encompassing over all this sober um, psychology in general. Um, and so that was predominant in every class. Psychology, of course, it's a program. Um, and so mindfulness, just to be more present, um, this is a new thing that I, um, I learned, uh, but it's, again, just this concept of, um, you know, meditating and uh, like the scriptures say, to meditate on the word day and night. Um, service, it's, it's a lot about what we do. Uh, James talks about um, you, you, um, you show me your faith through your deeds. Um, so just that it's more than just intellectual knowledge, but actually doing something. Love, uh, what we do um, stems from that. Every one of these classes is uh, about us loving our neighbors, us loving the hurt of the lost, and, um, loving ourselves, um, seeing ourselves how God uh, made us. Teaching, a lot of teaching, obviously. Uh, this is university classes. So um, it was really good. I had uh, the best teachers I could have asked for. I could have asked for any any. Uh, better teachers and um, helped me to learn how to teach a little bit better myself and practice. Of course, I learned a lot of this stuff. Uh, I practice some of it and I reflect on, on it now. So I think um, that's my concept map. I think overall um, some reflections that I have uh, are, are just, you know, this program has is, is been so amazing for, for me. And um, I, I really am so grateful for Trinity for uh, continuing it, even though our, um, our campus in Bellingham was closed, but to be able to finish this degree is just uh, amazing for me and, um, as an adult to, to continue on in my education as a pastor, to be able to be more equipped with how to serve people. And um, it's just, it's awesome. So I, uh, I'm really grateful to all my teachers. Um, thank you to Deborah, especially for just, um, just being amazing and uh, all my other classmates and um, thank God for just this opportunity. So yeah, that's my reflections. That's my concept map. And um, I'll put this in a separate video because I forgot to add that. So, all right. Thanks.